Hello and welcome to my channel and today I've got for you a Poundland haul. I know for some of you this is your fave video, uh, favourite shop. I know I always love watching, watching Poundland videos and I've not been in for a while so it's good to see some new items in there. And this is what we've got. It's massive. I think I'm going to have to split this into two hauls because I've got so much stuff. And in fact, ugh, I actually did two trips, two separate trips um, over quite a period of time, actually. So I just kept it all back and now I can show you it. Big old grab bag of uh, or share bag of minstrels. They were two pounds. Always get them from Poundland because you get a good amount in there for your two quid. Proper value. And then whenever I see these, I'll always pick up a few bags. I actually bought five bags, eating in fives, now packing, buying packets in fives. These are the Haribo Jelly Babies. Love the red, love the yellow. No, I don't, I don't like the yellow. Don't like the yellow and orange. They get taken out and given to friends. The rest of the flavors are fine. We get through a lot of salad cream in this house. Alan loves it and I'm quite partial. I tend to prefer the one that's um, slightly lower fat, but you can't always buy it. And because we get through it so quickly, I thought I'm gonna get that as a reserve. And that one was two pounds. We also get through a lot of this, Heinz tomato sauce. I have this with a lot of stuff, absolutely love it. This was two pounds as well. And it's a kilo, which is a really big bottle. Not as big as this one though, but that's for another haul. Um, yeah, absolutely love Heinz tomato sauce. I've tried other brands. This is the one I always come back to. Absolutely delighted to see this next item and I was very surprised. So you'll know from previous hauls, Shockwaves hair spray. Is it spray? No, it's gel spray. My mum uses this and I have, I use it a bit. It makes your hair absolutely rock hard though. Um, if you want something to hold your hair in place, this is the stuff. And so it's 24 hour hold, fast drying, easy to brush out, which it is, and humidity resistant. So normally I get this from when it's on offer in Boots or Wilco. Usually get two for 450 or two for four pounds. So when I saw it in Poundland for a pound, I bought five bottles, um, buying in fives because I do buy a lot of this for my mum and that is an absolute bargain. If it's gonna be a line that they start to sell, I'm gonna be absolutely chuffed to bits because that's saving a lot of money. So I popped over to the uh, makeup section to see what I could find and they had some of the little bags. In fact, this one wasn't in a bag, it's got a tag on it. So look at that. Beautiful colours in there. So I'd bought, I bought this, I didn't need it, but I thought I can't leave it for a pound. So you've got eyeshadows in there and two eyeliners. Oh, it's a double-ended eyeliner with black and brown. But I don't know if I'm going to put that in the giveaway, in a giveaway, or whether I'm going to keep it myself. But for a pound, I could not let that go. They had this one, and they had um, similar set, but in slightly different colours. So if you like the look of that, get yourself down to Poundland ASAP. And then in one of the other packets, I saw Rimmel, which is always a good brand to get. Uh, a nail polish, I thought that was pretty nice. It's sort of a, it is coral. In style coral, it's called. And it's the, oh, I've just seen, it's the 60 second um, quick dry one. That's a lot more expensive in other shops. In fact, I think I've seen that for about 250 or three pounds somewhere. So for a quid, I've done well there. And then this one also caught my eye. They do double for a pound in some of them. Um, that is not what I was necessarily interested in. That looks a little bit dark for me. That's like a face powder. But uh, what I liked was the lipstick. Let's get it out and have a look. I'm hoping it's not going to be too bright. Um, oh, it's an MUA one. In fact, I might already have this colour. Coral Reef. Let me just see what the other one is. Here's the other one that I like. I've got a bit of it on now. Oh no, pure coral, that's okay. Got a slightly different colour. Um, let's get it out and have a look at it. Yeah, I like that. I'll put a bit on. Yes, that is absolutely what I was looking for. That's perfect. Um, it's actually, yeah, I did see it. it's a lip balm. So 
I wear a lot of lip balms, but I like a bit of colour. And you find with a lot of lip balms, they're, they're clear, aren't they? So to have a bit of colour in it as well, that I'm absolutely delighted with. And then that's the uh, pressed powder that came with it. That's actually got um, a wrapper on it, so I'm not going to swatch it. I think I'll stick that in a giveaway at some point as well. thought these were rather nice. I always have a look in the, uh, the card and bag section. Um, two for a pound in here. So you've got a lovely lilac bag. And then on the back, there's a lovely pink and lilac with, they all come with tags as well. Um, yeah, I think they're really nice for female bags. And what a bargain, 50 pence each. Decent size as well. And then this one, I don't really need any more makeup bags, but I just like the shape of it. I like that it's flat and you get two in here for a pound. Um, you tend not to be able to find little, really little makeup bags, so that's what I got this one for. Look at that. That is perfect for putting smaller, smaller items in. They do open out, they're not completely flat, they do open out there. Um, but I just like that iridescent with the pink. And again, two, for those, two of those for a pound is absolutely brilliant value. But I just thought... I would get them in case I ever need them for anything in the future because I like the shape of them. I've had a couple of these before. These are really handy for when you are um, wrapping presents. It's double-sided sticky roller tape. It says you get eight metres on it. Not sure about that. Um, but I like the colour pink. I've had a purple one before. But it's really handy, this double-sided stuff. So it comes in the dispenser and you just sort of press it down and pull it. And then a little bit of tape pops out. So... I do quite like to um, wrap presents without tape showing. So this is uh, a very handy solution for me for that. Always get the hand cream in there. This is the hashtag six range. I know a lot of you have tried this since I've been showing it on the channel. And this is my favourite go-to um, hand cream that I always use. So it says it's anti-aging, fights visible signs of aging with coconut oil, collagen and vitamin E. Suitable for sensitive skin, dermatologically tested. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really nice, gentle hand cream. It's not too greasy. Um, not much more I can say for that. But if you're looking for a hand cream, try that one out because it's great. And then finally, something for my dad. Send in one of the rescue parcels that I shall be sending back. Don't know if he's tried this one. He loves chocolate, obviously where I get it from. Um, Twin Peaks, if you've not tried these, Again, give these a go for a pound, massive bar. These are similar to Toblerone's and this one is a very similar one. It's the Honeycomb Crisp, but you get really big chunks of chocolate. For a pound, that for me is really good value. I tend to prefer chocolate with just chocolate without any bits in, so I've not tried too many of these. I've tried the white one. Um, I really like that, actually. That was very sweet, but I've not tried any more. So, yeah, hopefully Dad's going to enjoy that one because I don't think he's tried that flavour before. And then finally, I needed something to carry all that back in. Look at this. Really like the look of that one. Good old Union Jack. So these are just some of the bits that I've um, not included in the main hall because I've had to... I'm sending Mum and Dad and my brother and Dre a parcel soon, so... Um, I needed to pack these, well, wrap these and send them off. So I've just done a little separate video here. So what we've got is just a five pack of cheesy quavers. Dre's rather partial to those. He loves them. So I thought he might have a few little snacks there. And then this is also for Dre, this lovely um coloring book with stickers now i'm going to keep this at home because this is probably a little bit too advanced for an almost two year old at the moment but what i'm doing as i've said many a time i'm picking bits up when i see it just so i've got a nice store of things when he comes to visit so it's just a coloring book with a load of stickers in it look at all those i thought he'd love those they're all um vehicles uh, these were the bargain of the day, eclairs, mum and dad both like eclairs, 25 pence for these rascals. And they are still in date for a little while, still got till next year, a year, a year uh, last week in fact. So yeah, I've got two boxes of those. Dad likes these, a couple of bits for dad, um, toffee whirls, 
We've got a few different flavours in there. Bala banana split, toffee and strawberry. I bought him some of those last time. My mum said they rather like those. And then some Thorntons. I may have got him some of those as well. But he loves a, a bit of uh, fudge. So these are a lot of the other bits that I'm going to send in the big in the big box for them. But I've I've included all of these in separate hauls already. Um, we've had a Boots haul, a Home Bargains haul, B and M haul. So I didn't really want to just repeat it because you've already seen these. But I've wrapped them up. I've just put them in some um, different tissue paper. I know it's not the same as proper wrapping paper, but it's only just just a sort of. Um, just to distinguish them in the box away from the main the main goodies um so then for mum for mother's day amongst other things she is desperate for some she loves the primark crop leggings the capri style and obviously primark hasn't been open because of lockdown um i went into poundland today they had leggings out I happened to say to the woman don't suppose they were full full length i said i don't suppose you've got any crop leggings have you and she said Ah, oh, they've just arrived. They're out the back, but I've only got navy. I said, yes, please. I'll have some of those. So I've got two pairs of navy and they were two fifty a pair, which is an absolute bargain. I'm going to Dre, a couple of bits for him here. They had quite a few new lines in the kiddie stuff. Um, they also had some sales on, but unfortunately, a lot of his age group were already uh, gone and it was only different sizes that weren't applicable to him but this is a new a new line i thought this was really nice i like it it's almost it does look on screen a little bit faded but it's not but because it's sort of a khaki green i don't mind it looking a bit faded anyway but these are really nice just sort of leggings with a bit of um texture going down there and then just a cute little top that matches um they're sort of a yeah khaki green i hope that color comes through four pounds for those i mean come on two pounds for a jumper two pounds for a tracksuit bottoms it, unbelievable isn't it four quid and then i spotted this always like to get um anything that refers to my brother so his dad so whenever i see anything i always pick it up so this was absolutely lovely this actually was on a hanger two quid unbelievable and it's got a printed uh, motif on it there dad's little number one champ really like the color of that i think that will suit him actually because he's he's got quite dark hair um so that's gray and sort of a brick so yeah a lovely and then these are the bargain of the day these lovely little booties now um they're too big for him at the moment they're a size seven but they were in the sale and i thought i'm going to get them anyway and then i'll send them and then they can just let him wear them when when they fit in these were seven pounds down to three pounds fifty they're really nice as well they're, they're proper decent quality uh, i was absolutely delighted with those so just a quick break in the hall there to talk about a little small business i'm working with on instagram and they are called shanometics beauty products is what we've got here thank you very much indeed these have been gifted um, so yeah, the lady that I contacted, she is very passionate about these. They are her own products. So I've got a hand balm, a lip balm and a body oil. It came in this lovely, really nice little drawstring bag. So let's have a little look at them all and I'll talk to you about them. What I'm going to do, I'll either pop the prices in as I talk about them or I'll leave them in the description box down below along with any discount codes and um, all the contact deta details if you're interested in making a purchase of any of these. So I've tried the body oil before I've um, filmed today. I do like to try things before I talk about them. Um, I know not everybody does that, but for me, I need to just give it a go first. So the body oil, I'll just read a little bit about it. It says to apply a small amount on damp skin after a shower or bath. Works well on the skin after epilation. I don't do that, but if you do that, and what it's got in it is sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, carrot seed oil, lavender essential oil, and vitamin E. Uh, yeah, absolutely great for your skin. It's got some stuff that's very nutritious. It's got an anti-inflammatory. Lavender because of the soothing and balancing properties. And it's quite relaxing, isn't it? Lavender smell. 
And then the vitamin E is a classic antioxidant that slows down the appearance of ageing and boosts the circulation of skin. So it's not overly fragranced. I was a little bit worried it might be a little bit strong because I'm not, I'm not massively keen on lavender. I don't know why. And it's got just a very, very mild hint of it. I shave my legs today, put this on my legs after. Absolutely no um, reaction to it at all. If anything, it's, it's felt quite um, soothing. Um, I put it on my arms, on my legs, and it, my worry was it was going to be greasy, and it's not. And it's soaked into my skin really nicely. Yeah, it feels lovely. I then got sent the hand balm talk a bit about this apply a small amount on clean and dry skin preferably for before bed i have started using since washing my hands so much during lockdown i've been using hand lotion every night as you know i love the poundland one it's great but it's not it's only 99p so it's not it's not you know overly rich whereas something like this is a real pick me up and real good treatment for your hands so what i do i've got a pair of cotton white gloves so i'll often put a hand treatment on and then i sleep in the gloves and whilst you sleep or lying there watching tv as your hands get warmer the pores open up and then the um goodness from whatever treatment you've got on your hand goes in your skin so let's have a little look at this i have had a go on it a while ago it's quite thick it's lovely not too fragrant and it's with heat it, it it sort of melts it's a bit like a butter i suppose yeah a bit like body butter they tend to do that don't they so you get a bit i don't need to show you how to put hand cream on and then it just melts Lovely. Let me read a bit about this one. So fragrance wise and what we've got in here is mango butter, um, which is great. A wonderful emollient that keeps the skin well hydrated and moisturised. Helps to, helps to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. Thank you very much. And improve the tone of the skin, keeping it supple and radiant. It's got cacao butter, which sort of gives it the almost... It's not chocolatey, but... You can smell the what you get in the chocolate. You can smell in there just very, very subtly. Um, it's got beeswax in it, hazelnut oil, grapeseed oil and chia seed oil, which is rich in omega-3 and excellent for skin condition. Uh, the grapeseed oil has the ability to soften skin and keep it supple. So it's all about keeping it moisturised, making it supple. Yeah, I'm going to have a go on that tonight. I'm going to put that, like I said slather it on my hands put the gloves on sleeping it overnight and uh, hopefully it'll help my nails as well because my nails are in a terrible state and then finally a lip balm i actually made some of my own lip balm i've done a video on that um so apply on lips when you need it you can apply it before lipstick or lip gloss so in here we've got coconut oil cacao butter again beeswax i put beeswax in mine and white poppy seed oil. Oh, the coconut oil possesses disinfectant and antimicrobial properties. So the beeswax helps to create a layer on the skin that will slow down water loss, which is, I get that, my lips dry very quickly. And the white poppy seed oil helps with things like damaged skin and photo aging from too much sun, which is me all over. Right, I'm gonna take my lipstick off and put a bit of this on. Right, so let's give it a little go. Oh, lovely. I love these. When they get a bit warm, they sort of, um, yeah, they just melt a little bit and it makes it easier to apply. Give it a good old squish up. Yeah, that's nice. I thought it was going to be really thick, but it's not. Just put a nice little um, sheen on the top of my lips. But it's not, if you can see, it's not shiny or not too shiny. So it's not like... I thought because it was an, uh, got oil in it, it might be a little bit greasy looking, but it's not. Yeah, so that's very nice. So, so I'm really grateful for those three products. Thank you very much. And if you wanted to support a small business over on Instagram, uh, as I said, I'll put all the details in the description box down below. So that's that haul over. Hope you've enjoyed that one. I'm very pleased with those bits that I've bought there. 
a um, few different items as well. So if you're not already a subscriber, maybe you might consider hitting the subscription button down below. You don't have to pay. And if you've enjoyed that video, please do give me a thumbs up because that helps with the YouTube algorithms. And always drop me a comment down below because I'll always write back. So I'm going to leave you there with that one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on another one soon. Bye for now.